FORSA is a specialized formwork system for the industrial construction for houses and buildings in concrete. FORSA trains personnel to be enabled to understand the construction techniques and processes required in the implementation of FORSA systems. Formwork consists of a series of hard-wearing and easy-to-operate panels and is known as modular formwork when it comes with standard sizes and fastening accessories. The Vursa system works as a monolithic pour, which means enables walls and slabs to be poured simultaneously with the following components. Wall panel, standard size, 60 cm wide. Wall slab union works as a connector between wall and slab. Slab panel, fastening accessories, used to join panels together. Toolkit, specially designed for assembly and disassembly used to avoid some damages on the formwork with hammers or bars that can cause a faster deterioration. The correct leveling of the foundation slab will determine an easy and efficient assembly of formwork. Once the concrete gets a resistance, the staking and layout process begins, carried out by a layout personnel with knowledge of plants and dimensions. A line setter takes the plants created by the topography team and then recreates the apartment's walls and auxiliary central lines. The layout personnel use a line generator to draw all the walls and door openings on the foundation's lab according to the original design, following the dimensions. After laying out and before installing the reinforcement mesh, it is vital at the marcation lines of the walls, so that the formwork stays in position and doesn't shift. There is an approximate distance of 60 cm between pins, and care must be taken not to drill into any MPE's installations. Steel workers install the reinforcement meshes, which are attached to the base rebar with the annealed black wire. After this, the installation of the MPEs and other utilities starts. Electrical boxes must be attached securely to the reinforcement mesh with annealed black wire so that they don't move during concrete pouring and are covered completely to avoid the concrete getting in and blocking them. At this stage, it's important to check that the reinforcement meshes are leveled before putting the wall spacers in position so that the mesh stays in the correct position and is covered evenly. Before formwork assembly begins, all formwork panels, accessories and tools must be inventoried according to the packing list and grouped by size and type. This process enables the aluminum to be sealed to prevent concrete residue from sticking in the first few pores. A homogeneous mix of 100 liters of water and 20 kilograms of hydrated lime is used. The mix is applied on the side and contact faces of each panel using a painting roller, leaving it for a minimum of 8 hours. Whenever panels are coated with this solution, they must be stacked with the contact faces facing each other to cause a more intense reaction. Once the preliminary steps are complete, 
the assembly of force of four work starts. Using the assembly drawings, in this case an apartment, the assembly workers per room identify and memorize the panel formwork that must assemble and disassemble during the project execution. In this example, we have 12 assembly workers, 4 for the facade, 1 for the bathroom, 2 for the living room, 1 for the dining room, 1 for each bedroom, 1 for the kitchen, and 1 for the hall. The assembly workers move each panel to its corresponding space. Before assembly begins, release agent is applied uniformly to the contact face area and side of each panel using a roller or spray pump. The process starts with the corner of each room, positioning the inside corner with the two panels of each side to form a right angle. One panel after the next is put in place according to the sectional plan until the wall is complete. The exterior panel is joined to the inside panel with ties for spaces, which provide the formwork with rigidity and maintain the wall thickness. They are secured by inserting an arrow pin or short pin in the formwork holes and are tightened using a wedge. Ties must be covered before with a tie covers lift to enable their removal. Wall covers are used to close up the formwork at doors, windows and end walls with the fastening accessories as a staple pin or pins and wedge. Once the walls assembly have been finished, they must be correctly leveled. The wall bracket must be installed in the upper part and another in the lower part every 60 cm as a maximum. Until the length of the wall is covered. Once they have been installed, an alignment ledger is fitted to them. They must be then be made perfectly level installing a wall brace anchor to the floor to help achieve this if necessary. Fixed braces are installed in the lower part of each room to maintain the dimension of the opening. Cap aligner, installed on the facades with a distance of no more than 180 centimeters. Their function is to make the cap leveled and align the wall vertically and they act as a protection for assembly labor by helping to demarcate the area of risk at heights. Wall slab unions are used to join wall and slab formwork together. In this case, a knife ledger union. To install them, the corresponding ledgers with the relevant deduction for the inside corner cover or positioned either side of the corner panels with a staple pin. The same is also carried out for the slab panels at the ends of the room. Once the knife ledger has been attached to the slab panel, the wall formwork is assembled while the knife ledger bracket is installed. This is an accessory that prevents the slab knife ledger assembly from moving fixing them in place so that they don't move during concrete pouring. Showing forms are used to level out the slab and keep it supported after pouring. They are positioned according to the design, then assembled and supported with a prop. To keep the slab level at points where three or four slab panels come together, jack supports must be used and fixed with the corresponding prop. If another type of wall slab union is used, such as one that is 10, 20 or 30 centimeters in height, first, the corresponding wall slab units are attached to two wall panels that form a right angle and then the slab panels and showing forms are joined with pins or stable pins according to the sectional plan until the slab for the room is complete. 
Finally, the walls lap union so the other two ends are attached and the room is closed off. The application of diesel to the outside of formwork using a spray pump or a bore lap is recommended to prevent concrete residue from sticking. At this point, the formwork is ready for concrete pouring to begin. When walls are being poured, the formwork reinforcements should be tapped with a rubber hammer inside the building. This helps to remove air bubbles inside and verify that all parts have been correctly filled, ensuring concrete with a good finish. It's important to use water to remove the concrete that splatters on the outside of the panels. Pouring slabs is simpler due to the placement of the concrete itself and the ease of correct vibrating. Total certainty regarding the correct level in those lap bottoms can be achieved by measuring their thickness using metal bars marked with the slab thickness. Once the concrete has been completely poured, it is left for the time required to acquire a semi-hard consistency and a straight edge is used to carry out detailing, which will be the end finishes. While the slab is being measured, it is important for a topographer to be present so that they can indicate the correct levels. The day after pouring, the process known as disassembly must be started. Each assembly worker begins by removing the alignment accessories and all pins and wets in their designated space. Then, starting with the wall corner area, the narrowest panels are removed using a panel remover, an essential tool for this activity, before being transported to the next model. Finally, the staple pins are removed from the slabs and they are also stripped, then cleaned and transported to the next model, leaving behind only the shoring forms and their respective prop or deck. The tie operator removes the ties using a special tool called a tie puller, and then covers them with a polystyrene slab ready to be used again. Before the next assembly begins, the side and contact faces of each panel must be cleaned with steel wool and a spatula to remove the stock and concrete before release agent is applied again. Now, the assembly takes place in the same way as the day before, with each panel positioned in the same place. While formwork is being disassembled in one area, it is assembled in another. It is a cyclical process that must be repeated until the project is complete. This is the Forza system, and these are the results. With Forza, no builder is ever alone.